Please. Can you help him now? Ian is somebody who took me under their wing when I first started out in comedy. He's not an Elvis Presley impersonator, although I'm sure he can make way more money doing that if he tried. Give it up for the funny Scotty Cheese. The very hilarious, the very great, Scotty G. Give it up for Scotty. Well, hello guys, I am Scotty G. We're going to be in the new uh, Star Wars movie. We're going to be the characters Storm and the Capital Troopers. <laughs> Just kidding, we're going to be Chewbacca's gay nephews. <laughs> C U N T. C word. I lost. And I got suspended because the judge was a c. You can go fuck yourself, Scott. Hi, uh, friend. I'm the kind of guy that gets pretty irritated easily. And it's not because I'm just some old boomer. I'm not. I'm not even, a, not even close to being a boomer. When it comes to annoyance... <sighs> However, I have a soft spot for YouTubers. You know, artists in general. There are genuine people that I've met that are genuinely trying to make it. And I say, good job. Good luck. Keep it going. Keep up the good work. God bless you. And then there's the YouTubers that I will watch on here and I start questioning reality. Like, I'm seeing a lot of these people that are genuinely dicks. I've seen a lot of prankster YouTubers. I've seen a lot of stingy assholes on YouTube as well, too. But then there's the people that I watch, and I'm just like, stay in school, kids. Today I'm gonna watch uh, this young lady here who break in a TV in Walmart. I mean, who, who the who the hell does that? Don't don't break a TV in Walmart, unless if it's yours, you know. So sit back, relax, grab a popcorn, grab candy, whatever, you know. Just stay with me. Make fun of this stupid bitch. Let's go. I mean, good God, the thumbnail just says it all. Smashing TVs at Walmart. Got arrested. <laughs> I'm so fucking cool, guys. That's on my permanent record. I'm just gonna get arrested. Yeah, not not worry about what my future holds. Because I only got 62,000 views in three weeks on this video. So I'm not gonna worry about, you know, future jobs or, you know, potential college or anything like that. Because I got arrested for busting a TV. Yeah. Now, and then after you like, comment, and subscribe, I'm looking for the hug. We got South Florida in a nutshell here, guys. Nah, I'm just kidding. But y'all, I'm about to go in here and break a TV. But they don't know it's my TV. They gonna think it's their TV. What did I tell? I, I knew it was gonna be her TV. There's no way she would go and break a fucking TV that was Walmart's. I mean, it probably was Walmart's and then she bought it and now she's uh, returning it just to break it because she's awesome. Excuse me, I have a question. Why does your vest look so dirty? Because they work. They work and contribute to society. They probably only have maybe like three change of vests that Walmart gave them because Walmart's cheap. I never worked for Walmart, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So don't be a, don't be an ass. That's not cool. I would just be, I was being so serious. I don't even give a fuck about the camera. I would have said that in real life. Sorry. What's that for? What? That. Cat litter? You have a cat? Yeah. Why? I want cat. Oh, okay. Bye. Do you have a cat? Huh? Yeah. Why? What? Oh no, I got it. I'm just trying to get a ball. No, it's not gonna fall. I'm not trying to climb in there. I'm just trying to get a ball. Okay. Do you need some help? Which one do you need? No, I don't need no help. 
But I just saw you coming up over here. But I was just trying to reach. I don't need no help. I'm That's the problem with this new generation, this younger generation here. They go ahead and they say, we're adults. You know, we're responsible, this and that and the other. You know, like we're gonna ru we're gonna ruin this country very soon because we're Gen Z. But then when they do this, and then they immediately act like children. They're like, I, I want ball. I, I do want the ball here. There's like seven balls on the fucking ground, dude. My apologies. Phone call. Back to the video. Let me grab your head. No. Oh. Well, you have a nice day. I like your smile. You don't just ask people, especially bald men who are, you know, some are very insecure about their shiny bald head. I mean, what if that guy asked you if he can grab your ass? You would have been like, oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! I'm not what? No one ever, no one ever said that. He's not recording you. He has to stand with that camera like that. If he doesn't, he has anxiety. That's the stupidest excuse I've ever heard. Yes, absolutely. You're not supposed to record in Walmart, you know. It's not public. There's cameras. You're being recorded all over the place, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can't just film people like that, you know, without, and technically without a permit. I'm not trying to sound like a Karen here, but that's true, you know. I Trust me, I've been in trouble filming in Walmart when I was a kid as well, too. But, I mean, dude. If someone doesn't want to be recorded, don't record them, and then don't just say, "Oh, my friend's my friend has to keep holding a camera because of his uh, his anxiety." Shut up. Sorry, camera died. Back to the video. Is he not handsome? That's a high tech camera. Well, of course we knew the thumbnail was full of shit. Oh, it's giving put me in them cuffs. <laughs> but it's funny. There are those YouTubers that do uh, get a big rise out of. Oh my God. I'm getting arrested on camera. That's gonna make my career skyrocket. What'd you think about this one? Okay, who has this one? I don't know. Does it? Is it smashable proof? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm right here. Oh my goodness! Can you, Can you help him now? I just lost a bunch of brain cells while watching this video. I regret watching it. <laughs> uh, please leave a like, share, fo follow, subscribe, and you know, follow my other socials if you want to. I put I, I don't know. I try to do I try to do my best. You guys have a good day.